Welcome to the August newsletter. So uh, this week and this month is stroke week. So I have my fancy cape on to help bring awareness to stroke. And the reason why we have, uh, we're dressing up as either superheroes or we have some groovy socks is to help bring that awareness. So the acronym for stroke this month is FAST. Uh, and it usually is FAST. I'll grab a bookmark. So you can see it here. The acronym for FAST is first it's face. So we're watching for anything changing on the side of the face. Arms, can you lift them? Are you getting any tingling? Speech, can you understand it? Or maybe it's a bit slurred. And then T is the time to act fast. Hence why we have our superhero outfits and things like that this week. So you're welcome to dress up if you're coming in for a session or if you're doing your session via telehealth. We do acknowledge that a few of our people who do see us on a regular or semi-regular basis have been impacted by the lockdowns that are in the 11 LGA areas um, just below the range. So if you are coming in and you have been to one of those areas, then yourself and your practitioner will be required to wear a mask for the duration of your session. If you do feel uncomfortable with this, we do offer the telehealth sessions there as well. Uh, but We'd love you to give us a heads up if you do have any questions or queries or uncertainties about that. We also have our check-in, which is just outside our door or at our reception desk, uh, just in front of Josh. And then we also have one down in the gym. So lots of spots to be able to check in. If you're not too sure on that either, we can also check you in on the iPad if you are someone that is coming uh, or has a support person coming with them who isn't already in our system uh, for a booking on that day. We have a few things to go through. So I think for stroke week, I forgot to grab some groovy socks to show you what groovy socks we have. So I'm gonna steal Josh or even steal Sally to go and grab all the groovy socks uh, to give you guys. So we'll get them all out on video. And just while they do that, we have a few prac students still. Uh, Ruby is joining us via Zoom because she's based in Brisbane. So she's been impacted by the lockdown, still try and say hello, make her feel welcome on Zoom. And we also have Molly and then a couple of other just observational students. <laughs> Here we have some socks. So we've got a whole bunch of socks that Socks Society has really lovely, um, that we feel so lucky. They've just donated a whole bunch of socks. And so at the end of the week, if you've had the best superhero outfit, or if you've even worn some really groovy socks along to the clinic, then you will potentially win a pair of socks. However, if you would like to purchase a pair of socks, they are $15 and that whole donation goes towards the Stroke Foundation. <laughs> Josh is just stacking them all up there neatly again. I'll give them all another way. We have a whole bunch of different socks and we know a few people have come and purchased them to give that donation through to the Stroke Foundation. So we still have a few pairs to go and I think there's even some hanging up in the gym in that next door. Thanks, Josh. Obviously didn't want to be on video today. It's hiding off to the side. They were Josh's hands, I swear. So then... Uh, I only have a couple more things, so a really short newsletter for this month, which is crazy. We've got the Exercise Right for Active Aging Grant Program. This month is the last month that you can gain access into that program. So if you are over the age of 65 or you identify as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander and you're 55 years or older, then you are eligible to participate in the Exercise Right for Active Aging Program. So it gives you access to subsidise group sessions for 12 or 16 weeks if you do have a bit of a break in there so that you don't have to come every single week if you've got a holiday or something like that planned in between. And then uh, we also have the amputee support group here on the fourth Tuesday of the month from two till 4 p.m. So you're more than welcome to drop in. That's where we sit down. We have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. And we have Graham, one of the peer support people from Limbs for Life come along and facilitate that group session, as well as I think Richard is also attending all of them and he's the First Nation representative for the Limbs for Life 
uh, group across Australia. So we're very lucky to have two very talented individuals be leading the support group and at the moment they're meeting here in this location. So tea or coffee uh, on the fourth Tuesday of the month from 2 till 4 p.m. If you want to stay updated with that information, we put reminders out onto the Darling Downs amputees group for when that is happening. So feel free to jump on and uh, give that one um, a like or a follow. What do you do for groups? You join the group. That's right. Are you standing there, Josh, because you want to say something or? No? Okay. All right. Cool. That's all for today. And I hope you all have a lovely week and stay nice and safe. And if you have any questions, remember, you can give us a call and we'll see if we can help you out. Thank you.